What's up, summoners? King Blair here. With another RTA season in full swing, I want to talk about one of the heroes that ever since their buff, they have been at the forefront of the meta from even last season, and that is going to be none other than Apocalypse Ravi. So what we'll be talking about today is what makes Apocalypse Ravi so strong, what are some ways you can try to deal with her, and ultimately what damage has she caused to the game as far as balance goes, and heroes that are very reminiscent of another unit in the game, being none other than Arbitrary Vildred. So, if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and just go server, link down in the description. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So, first starting with a little bit of background for this video. So, the reason for it is mainly going to be that I was thinking about how prevalent a Robbie was, and I was thinking, have we ever had a unit that kind of felt like they did everything in Epic 7? And the answer was yes, surprisingly. Arbiter Vildred was a unit that felt like they could do everything, right? They had a variety of builds, they could be bulky, they could be fast, and it felt like there wasn't a lot of units to deal with them. And very similar to a Ravi, the way that they dealt with them over time, and it took quite a long time, quite a few seasons, where he was just one of the most picked units, was by slowly releasing counters solely to counter him, right? So it got me thinking, and it got me realized a Ravi is sharing a lot of the same similarities, with a lot of heroes being tailored to just try to counter a Ravi, and ultimately creating problems for the game, right? Especially because, as we know, Svage does not nerf heroes as part of their policy. But with that background of the way, let's kind of start breaking down What's the problem with Aravi? Why is she so strong? What are some ways that, that Smilegate has released to deal with her? And what problems has that caused? So first, let's just look at Aravi and this monstrosity of a unit and what she kind of does. You probably already know this, especially if you've been playing RTA. But essentially, you have an extremely bulky unit that can also do extremely high damage and has a wide versatility of builds and artifacts, right? My current one is on Crimson Seed, even though I mainly use it for Guild Wars. And she's going to be, you know, can be on Proof of Valor, be tankier, or she can be on Counter Set on Proof of Valor, or she can use the new Snow Crystal so you could potentially miss a crit on her, not be able to one-shot her, and then you kind of just lose, right? And overall, if someone picks her in RTA, there's nothing you can do to know what they're going to be doing, right? Because players can either do a Robbie for a cleave, where they pick her early on and then completely pivot into something like a Ren or a more aggressive draft, or they can completely bulk down with a bunch of Bruisers and kind of slowly whittle you down to a point where the a Robbie S3 becomes more critical, right? So again, very strong unit that does a lot of damage, hard to plan against and hard to take down, right? So how do you counter a unit like this? The two ways that Smage has kind of approached and has kind of used based on what players were trying to do to beat her is going to be one one shot her without trying to hit her and give her CR cycling so she's able to heal and stay on the board longer to just one shot her out the gate or two control slash injure her to a point that she's not going to be too useful. So first on the one shot side. What units do we have to try to deal with her? Well, first, we have Hua Young that was actually released by Smilegate, uh, specifically, as mentioned by them, to try to curtail a Ravi's dominance in the meta, right? That was actually an official statement from Smilegate on Hua Young's release. What ended up happening, as many of you guys know, is Hua Young became another incredibly strong unit in the meta as a unit that just kind of took over because of how much they did, being bulky, having barriers, hard to take down, and doing high amounts of damage, right? Very similar to a Ravi, but at the same time, a Ravi actually didn't drop from the meta. She just kind of evolved, right? Again, very similar to how Arbiter Vildred, with all the different heroes that stopped revive, became bulky, and you couldn't kill them, and then just kind of got revived. And a Ravi just got tankier and got stronger, right? And against Hua Young, so Hua Young didn't really do her job that much. And they released other units. Even the most recent unit, very blatantly, was meant to try to curtail her right you have someone like uh sharoon right if i can find her i know she's one of the new five star heroes but essentially to try to build a hero that could stack up injury at an insane rate to try to be able to deal with her right this unit highest and fastest injury uh, you can apply to be able to quickly whittle down a ravi but why doesn't she see that much play? Because she's way too tailored to just counter a Ravi, and a Ravi is going to be still getting her value from her S3 and her S1, and she's not actively dealing with her through the injury set. Then they also did the injury buff, which is actually doing a pretty good job at slowly whittling down the, the, the amount she can do, especially with Alencia's buff, with injury set in single target being able to decrease by 12%. When you slap it on someone on Alencia that is able to hit two times, you're able to way quicker 
be able to just whittle down that Abrahavi's HP, right? It's a lot easier to actually whittle her down with that, along with Alencia, who's able to utilize that unity set to the max, right? So it's one of those things that, you know, it's been quite helpful and it, and it slowly has been curtailing her power. Uh, but at the same time, it's not enough to even take her out, right? They've released all these different counters and Inj more injury units, more high damage units, right? And at the end of the day, they still have not been able to push a Ravi completely out the meta because of how versatile she is. So that's going to bring us to the last part of the video. What does this cost for the game and what, what will it mean for a Ravi moving forward? So it clearly looks like Smilegate wants to curtail a Ravi's power even more until her drop rate drops to an acceptable level, right? At this point, she's still one of the most picked units, one of the most contested units, although she is slowly losing power with things like Chu getting buffed, Alencia with injury set, Hua Yang still doing pretty okay into her, although not really doing too much, right? So she has a lot more ways to get dealt with, and she has still like pseudo counters such as things like uh, a, a, a Meru who can try to seal her passive and be able to deal with her, and things like Sage Vivian who is harder for a Robbie to actually take down while the Sage Vivian uh, ramps up. But again, it kind of leaves you wondering what's going to happen moving forward. And it's something that we can kind of already see what happened, right? When we look at a unit like Arbiter Vildred. When we think of the, all the heroes that were released to try to counter Arbiter Vildred at the time, there was Sinful Angelica, there was Lilibet, there was Blood Moon Haste, right? There's, there's even more that off the top of my head I can't even remember. But there was a lot of heroes that were tailored at countering Arbiter Vildred and his damage and try to be able to deal with his mechanics. Oh, even like Polites, right? And it's one of those things that's going to take a long time for the unit to slowly drop in power. And, a, and Arbiter Vildred, for a very long time, maintain that status as one of the most units in epic seven so most likely going to happen a ravi is slowly going to lose in relevance as newer stronger heroes like hua alencia chu are slowly going to start replacing her and as the meta shifts into a meta that is not good for a ravi but what does do, what that does mean is going to be a lot of heroes that were built around countering this one mechanic of a ravi that are not going to be as useful such as case in point Sharoon, which is kind of unfortunate for these type of units and for smile game moving forward because units like hua and other units that are going to rise to relevance as a ravi drops are going to need more heroes to be able to get dealt with which is again at the end of the day a problem with the no nerf system is that you are forced to release counters to popular heroes which again is very normal and standard again uh, along gotchas because you typically sell the solution right that's typically what the, the method methodology is because you can sell a solution you get people to pull you get ways to actually be able to deal with that unit right and as time goes on that's kind of like the model that's built on so it's something that we've seen in the past and even though it seems like it's an a robbie only problem it's a hua only problem it's something that has been around since the start of the game but now since there's more and more heroes it's going to become significantly harder to balance but at the same time some small ray of hope there's also a chance that with more units, there will be more diverse metas, as we have right now, surprisingly, with a pretty diverse meta overall, once you do ban that a Robbie. But that is all I got for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about a Robbie. But I will see you next time. Peace.